I know you can't tell, but this is a 2004 Chevy Avalanche. This will count for pretty much any 2000, uh, 2000 to 2006 or 2004 to 2006 Chevy uh, full-sized vehicle. Um, I have the door panel off. I was trying to figure out why my doors wouldn't, my back doors would only lock and they wouldn't unlock. And then I found out through trial and error, let me show you, that leave it to Chevy to do cheap wiring. Those relays right there, one of them has a corroded, um, let's see if I can pull it out. Come on, there it is. See if, is this the one? Yeah, if you can see it, all that green stuff, I cleaned it off so it's not as bad as I when I originally found it. But what happens is you either got like a bad ground or some sort of electronic issue that starts corroding and both of my back doors when I would go into drive, when I would hit the button, they would only lock, but you know, just regardless of whether I put it into park, hit unlock here, or I did it on my keys and hit unlock, it would only lock the door. It would not unlock the door. So whole bunch of trial and error just to find out that the relay is actually corroding. But all of that said, I'm going to show you how to put on and in turn take off a Chevy door because I can always find the driver's door, how to take it off, but not so much the passenger back door. This is a uh, uh, yeah, passenger back door. So what you need to know is, well, let's take a look at the door real quick on the back side. Is right here, there's a bunch of prongs and they're all facing down. Right here, right here, here. And if I can move my light in the correct format, here and here and here. And I think that one is supposed to be one, but it's broken. Oh no, that one looks like it still works. One of these door panels I had to take off and half of those were busted off. Somebody didn't know what they were doing. So, oh, and then I think that one is one as well. So in reverse order, what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to line up the door panel. This part I will not be able to do with you guys in my hand. You're gonna wanna line up the door panel with those bottom brackets right there. And then right here, this wiring harness, you're going to want to plug back into, I know you probably can't see jackedly, back into the, is that the right spot? Yes. Back into that wiring harness right there. And then this is going to be hilarious to try and do this. Well, let's see, taking it out was kind of a pain because you have to push that and I had to get a screwdriver to push it and then pull it at the same time. But pushing it in shouldn't be that bad. So, <laughs> sorry, I only got the one source of light. Let's see here, there it is. Ta-da, okay, that's plugged in, looks good. So, you line up those prongs at the bottom with the holes that's in the plastic, and you kind of just set it up there, wiggle it around until it feels like you're not sliding forward to back anymore, and then you push down. Once you push down and then you pull back and the door doesn't feel like it's going anywhere, then you know you've made it. So, as for screws, or excuse me, let me do this in perfect reverse order. You would put this in, you put the front, yes, you put the front in first. Let's see if I can do this. Put the front in first and the back is kind of springed so it'll go in. So front in first and push the back in. So you just need to get a screwdriver behind that and pop that. Um, and then you can put this piece on. You gotta pull out the door handle, slide it over. Sorry, I'm trying to do this quickly because my phone battery is about to die, but I couldn't find a video on it, so might as well post it. Then it just kind of snaps in there. The prongs are on the back side, the snap is on the front. So you wanna try and get your back side first and then pop your front end. And then my door is broken because there's supposed to be a screw hole right there. Actually, I have the screw somewhere in here. Somewhere in here I had the screw. You're supposed to put one screw in right there, but the plastic busted out so it wouldn't hold anything if I put in the screw. And then there's one screw 
right there. So technically, when I'm bouncing down a dirt road, this screw is the only thing that keeps my door handle from just bouncing straight up and off. So, and then that screw, i it's probably a metric, but I don't really have metric all that much. So I'm using a nine, if you can see that, I sorry the reflection is so bad. It's a nine thirty seconds. So hopefully that helps. Also your speaker, crap, I just measured it. I was gonna throw in some extra data. I think it's a four and a half, it's a really small speaker. Um, your door actuators right here, your arm for that, and then your window motor is down here. So I probably should have done that beforehand. It's pretty accessible. Once you pull the plastic off, it's not too bad, but that's sort of kind of how you do a, a Chevy back door, how you put it on and take it off.